Hello my friends! Welcome to my monthly face-to-face. -face. The sun is out earlier now. I'm actually sitting in the parking lot at work and um, waiting for my husband who is having a meeting with excuse me, I get the hiccups as soon as I start talking. Anyway, he's meeting with our supervisor. I get to meet with him before our shift tonight. So I'm like, wait until everybody walked. <laughs> the rest of the shift guys are gone. And I thought, hey, I can do my what are my May plans video because I'm just sitting here and you can see my face <laughs> and my curly hair, which I kind of, I showered and then I slept and it's like got this weird kink. Anyway, Hello, I'm Kathy. Did I not say that? Welcome, new and seasoned friends. I, first of all, want to say thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you that took a moment to just say happy birthday. Those of you that played along with my little Wahoo with Kathy hashtag, a couple of you even made videos showing the pages you made. Seriously, you guys are too much. And thank you to those of you that snuck in and sent me something instead of buying it for yourself. But I appreciate it and I will be hopefully, again, it's always Eddie's fault. I should have already had a night of filming. He was supposed to work and I wasn't and then it changed. So again, I will try to get that loaded or loaded, filmed and uploaded not like my last haul that was like what four months worth and i still haven't hauled the supplies and stuff i i i could just not but um i've talked before and people are like i don't care if it's old stuff or new stuff we want to see it so i'm going to show it to you so thank you yes i had a fun time seeing everybody's um messages seeing the pages you colored when you um used the hashtag thank you April hasn't been a lot better, but it's over. Again, I really, I have plans to um, color and chat because there's so much to fill you in on. Uh, I'm still working, so there's that. But we're here to talk about plans. So exciting plans for me is I'm filming this on the morning of May 3rd, Tuesday, May 3rd. I will hopefully get it uploaded probably in the middle of the night tonight because I'm going to go home and sleep. I'm not going to edit, but I'll do it when I get up. And I just have to make it through this week. I have to work Tuesday and then Thursday. Eddie has a doctor appointment and I have to drive him. And then I have to work Friday night and Saturday night. And I might have to work Sunday night. I'm praying, fingers crossed, but there's just not a team environment where I work, unfortunately, so I'm probably gonna have to work. But if I can make it till 6 a.m. Sunday, then I am off work for a full week. It is once again time for, um, sorry, I mean, I have the, the truck running with the heat on. So if you hear something, cause it's still like 35 degrees outside. Yeah, it's May, but it's not quite spring weather. Um, so yes, I am doing a, a crafty getaway with my three standards that I normally do a little runaway and we are going to craft all week. So normally if I could get Sunday off, I would get up early on Monday, load my car. And now I'm getting, I need to like turn this off. I think I'm getting too hot so that I'm getting tired. I didn't sleep well either the last couple nights. Anyway, rambly rambly, if you're a new friend, I'm a chitter chatterer and that's what you're gonna get. So, um, yeah, and then I would like get up, finish loading and head out. Normally we arrive at the place we stay around one o'clock. But if I end up working, I'm going to email the lady that um, runs the place and say, would it be okay if I showed up at like 8 a.m.? Because then I would just have my um, everything packed. Eddie said he would help me have everything ready. So before we went to work Sunday night, so when I get off my 12 hour shift Monday morning at 6 a.m., I could just head out. It's about a two hour drive to where I'm going. And I vlogged, I've got a vlog, do I, is it under my vlog section or is it under everything else? Anyway, I've like vlogged while I've stayed there before um, and I show the whole place, so I'm not gonna do that again. I am thinking of maybe doing like, how much can I color in a week kind of a thing? 
because and just do like a little check-in so kind of like a weekly vlog but more just like a progress through the week I also like to make cards at these events so sometimes I'll usually like take one day and just do make a bunch of greeting cards and then I'll do other days and just color so I don't know if maybe just let me know comment if you'd even be interested in seeing that because um, I don't mind doing it it's just those of you that make videos know it's a lot more work to like put all those little pieces together than like right now I'm just gonna sit and just keep talking to you and then I'm gonna hit stop upload don't really have to do much editing and I don't mind doing that so um, but if nobody wants to watch it then why why bore you <laughs> so we'll see uh, yeah so I just have to make it through this week so that's the excitement so normal what we do for well, what we what I do on my channel I have a monthly prompt um, for most months last month we had five because we spelt out my name with all my favorite things so May what I like to do is focus on mom it is Mother's Day here in the States we have that and as seasoned friends you know I lost my mother um, 2009 is when she passed and I have never been the same but I think about her and I love to color pages that reconnect me as far as a memory of her or things she might like so that's my my first prompt not necessarily it might not be like a mother and child but for me when I do my finished pages trust me you'll get the full story on why I colored this and why it reminded me of my mom so then I also like to have a second prompt so I do the little spinner app again anybody that wants to do the spinner app I highly recommend it I saw other people do it and there's probably multiple choices I just searched for spinner app or not even an app because I do it online on like the website and um, I think it is just called Spinner. Anyway, and then you can enter in whatever you want. You can customize it. I'm thinking about doing another one and entering like Disney movies because I am starting to acquire quite a few Disney books and I am enjoying coloring in them. But again, I just, it's like, how do you pick? So I thought, oh, maybe I'll just like have a Disney movie prompt. But then somebody's already doing that, so I'm going to piggyback on that. We'll get back to this because I'm going to share some of the monthly prompts and hashtags that I try to do every month and then a couple new ones I just wanted to share. So a few people have asked me, where do you find these prompts or how do you know about it? So I'm going to fill you in on that. But first of all, Spinner App. Let's see what it has in store for us this month. Can I tell you, I am super excited about this. Okay, granted in April, part of Wahoo with Kathy, C was for cat, but I don't mind getting cats two months in a row because I started pulling out all of my coloring books that are just cat themed. And it is kind of an embarrassing amount <laughs> of cat coloring books I have. Not embarrassing because I love them, but I didn't get to color in all of them in April. So it was in the fates that um, the spinner wheel wants me to color more cats. So Wahoo for that. We'll be doing mom pages and cat pages. So those are my own two personal prompts and I just do it. I don't do like a hashtag, but FYI, if any of you are like looking for ideas, that's kind of how I do it. So the other things I will continue to do and I actually have printouts we have visual aids today so one of the things I uh, often reference and I don't always explain it and I'm like oh people maybe don't know what I'm talking about but we talk about bingo so I support Danny Buttons Miss Danielle she is a fellow youtuber out here and she has set up a patreon account and if you are not familiar with patreon it is I don't know. I don't want to say it's like a fan club, <laughs> but it is a way to support creators, artists, pretty much anybody could set up a Patreon account and um, you can 
solicit people to help support you. So I love what Danielle does on her channel and when she opened up her Patreon, I dove headfirst in and wanted to help support her. Um, monetarily is what it is. There's usually different levels so you can pick how much you want to um, provide each month and then you get a benefit. So some creators, as far as on YouTube, will have special videos that only the members of their Patreon group get to see, um, or like some of the coloring book illustrators and artists that we all love, a lot of them have Patreon accounts. I uh, personally support Hannah Lynn, you guys know she's one of my favorites, and she gives free, well not free because I'm paying for it, but she gives um, member exclusive images that she doesn't have in any of her books. In fact, she like draws them every month at something new. So it's pretty fun and she asks the group for suggestions. It's, it's kind of a fun way to help support an artist uh, in addition to like buying their coloring books and you get a little extra benefit. So back to Danielle. So Danny Buttons, what she has is her bingo. She has Patreon bingo every month. And I usually show you my board at the end of the month with all my little pages filled in or my little spots. So I've already printed that out. So basically Danielle draws and gives us 25 prompts. So my goal is to always do blackout. So I will be, again, working on my bingo board. She also has been doing like a little mini board, um, tic-tac-toe style, called Springo. So I have those prompts put in there. But anyway, yeah, you have to be a member of the Patreon group to, do, to get access to the bingo boards. But there are other people that do monthly prompts that anyone can participate in and I have been um, participating and I'm like, I need to show, I need to show my friends out here in case you didn't know about these lovely people. So one that, <coughs> excuse me, I do have bottled water over here. I may need a little sip. Oh, it's like I saw a body coming. I'm like, please don't be Eddie. Yeah, it's not. Okay, so Miss Jamie, Jamie's Coloring Love, is one of the most beautiful, kindest hearted soul people I have met in the coloring community. And she always so generously shares her ideas and um, is just so encouraging. Well, she has started doing, I think last fall maybe, or last summer, I think she came up with the idea and a lot of us jumped on board. So now she does it every month where she, I'm gonna put in the little snip it so you can see it but if you go to her Instagram is where you will find her posting and I'm gonna put the links to the people I'm talking about to their Instagram or I'm gonna put it to their YouTube channel and I believe most of them it will be their Instagram or if they're only on Instagram anyway, I'll have links in the description below so you can find them so she has as you can see in the little graphic sure for May she takes the month hence the reason I did my little birthday month with my name was inspired by Jamie. So she usually takes the first three letters of the month if it's a longer lettered month. So her May breakdown, she has May is for mermaid, A is for adventure, Y is for you, so I get to color someone that looks like me. And then it's also her birthday month, so anything birthday inspired. So hers I really enjoy because it's, <coughs> excuse me, four prompts which is fairly easy and I will mix and match like my prompts. I'm not going to do separate pages for all of these. If I can get them to cross over, I take that as a win. So that is a pretty fun. Then another um, prompt scavenger hunt type thing is um, by the lovely Jessie over at Happy Colors. I will again have her linked below. She's been doing this for several months and I absolutely love it. So often you will see videos where people do tags where you have to like try and find pages that meet certain prompts or um, scavenger hunts they'll be called. So she just has come up with, I believe, I haven't spoken to her and asked her how she comes up with her prompts, but they just seem to be random monthly prompts and I love them. So here's the graphic for May. So I will be looking for a coloring page with um, 
these items. And this, I usually end up with 10 different pages. I haven't been able to like, oh, find a giraffe in a car eating ice cream. Wouldn't that be a clever way to knock three of them out? Um, and then a monkey, country scene, bee, sunflower, clock, apple, and moon. So hers usually are just everyday type things and um, to find them in your coloring books and color pages. So I have that all ready. I actually did it a little different. I made like a grid because I always struggle like checking it off and then I couldn't remember what page I did. So that is another prompt type thing I will be participating in. And if you are um, interested and didn't know about that, check it out. Another one that I very much always try to do at least one or more pages is the lovely Rebecca, who is iPanda Colors on Instagram. She comes up with a color palette, and I believe they almost always have six, six colors, eight colors. I, I don't have it in front of me, but I'm showing you right now what it looks like. So um, she comes up with this clever name for it and these colors and invites you to color a page you could I mean I will often just kind of take the easy way out and do a mandala or a patterny type page where it doesn't really matter how accurate colors are but I love to mix colors up and you know I'm gonna eat a green hamburger or something just because okay green and meat probably wasn't a good example but you probably understand season friends you know I'll switch colors to just whatever I want so <coughs> and then she has the hashtag so if you post your picture on Instagram and include that tag we can all see it with the lovely palette so that is another one I very much enjoy participating in and then oh so the Disney ah, guys I'm so out of it <coughs> when it comes to filming or it's not like I don't talk this much but I guess usually when I'm talking this much, someone's talking back to me. So the beautiful Pixie over Pixies projects. Um, she did tell me this is just the second month, but she has a hashtag for doing Disney. But what she does is she picks a movie for each month. And this month, the movie is Bambi. So again, this is like all the little pieces are coming together because Bambi was one of my mom's favorite Disney movies. So already <coughs> I am so sorry about that um I can do those pages um a Bambi page for my mom and I can do it for Pixie's prompt so that's pretty cool uh, oh the other thing that I have mentioned before and not explained is the beautiful loving Sarah does um from chronic coloring down under she has created a, a twist of Monopoly, and it is called Coloropoly, and it is too late to join in on that now. That is one, if you are interested and you weren't aware of it, make sure you subscribe to Sarah's YouTube channel. <coughs> I don't want to have to stop just to, like, get my throat going here. Um, Because she will usually put out, like towards the end one of the last few days of the month she'll put out a roll call and all you do is respond to that video you comment and say how many rolls you would like so like if you were playing Monopoly and she and her a fun fun husband do this together and they have come up with different coloring prompts and some of them are like wait till you hear what I got this month some of them are stinkers and then she will take all the little tokens from Monopoly and everybody gets assigned one and she puts us in groups so there's enough. And then you say, I want three rolls, which is what I usually go with. And then um, after the first, usually sometime after she'll like say, okay, you know, it's closed. And then they will sit down and they spend, it can be like a two hour video, depending how many of us have asked to participate. And they just do it and I love I love you for it Sarah it is so much fun and it has just helped so many more people interact within the community because if you hear somebody else that has the same prompt as you that's like ding 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 I could like message them and see if they want a buddy color so if you've ever been like apprehensive about contacting someone or do, to do buddy colors that's a great way because you're already both 
enjoying this game and it's like of course let's do it together so this month guess what I got I mean seriously my first prompt is I have to color thankfully it can be a simple page with my non-dominant hand which will be my left hand so that will be interesting and messy and then the second prompt and that was my because I got sent to jail usually there's some that you know if you get sent to jail it's more challenging or I don't want to say it's a bad because there's nothing bad about coloring and then the second one I have to I'm pretty sure if I'm remembering this correctly I have to draw a cartoon character person and then color it. So like basically make my own coloring page. Now I don't know, and I it doesn't really matter. The thing with most of these prompts in any of the um, um, things I've shared, you interpret it to what works for you. So I don't know if I'm supposed to like try and draw a, you know, existing cartoon character or I can just make up my own character and draw it and color it. And then thankfully my third one, I love because it is monochrome and I very much enjoy doing monochromatic pages so that one I'm good with <laughs> so but yes so Coloropoly um, with Sarah if you were not familiar with that so I know there's many more hashtags but I'm not gonna list all of those those are just kind of the prompt ones that I enjoy doing that really help me get through so many pages because as I've mentioned, coloring is my stress reliever and my life is more stressful than usual. The This whole year, 2022, has not been a relaxed year for me. So having, so I go to coloring to turn my brain off from thinking about all this crap that is stressing me out. And I don't want to stress myself out further by not, by figuring out what am I going to color? Because seriously, I would do that. So by having all these options to me, I can usually easily just grab a book off my bookshelf and I can find a page that will fit one of the things I am trying to accomplish. And if I don't meet all of these, and the same thing with Jamie and Sarah and Danielle, um, Jessica, Jesse, <coughs> you don't have to like do them all. It's not like we're in a competition and there's a winner. It's all just to help people find pages and to to keep coloring really that's all it is it's like some months I don't I don't get very far on some of them sometimes I didn't get any <laughs> and it's yeah there's no penalty it's just to help you so there you go this is kind of one of a longer of my plans videos goal wise will be to do all of those things I don't set any other real goals as far as like videos, posts, um, I wish I could, but again, season friends, life just doesn't work that way for me. And I feel badly because I have so many things I want to film and share and I have some good ideas. Well, I think they're good ideas, but um, my life just doesn't allow me. This is real life, so I could turn this off, but no, I have to like dab at my nose or you're gonna see snot rolling down. So we've all seen a tissue before. I will um, not do the full-blown blow, but I'm definitely doing the, um, you know, shove the tissue up into the nostril and wipe. There you go. If you're a new friend, you're probably like, what is up with this lady? Well, you've probably already clicked off by now. So I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> Season friends, you know. I am, I am what I am. I'm not Popeye, but I'm, yeah. This is real life. This is me. I'm not professional by any means. Okay. So yeah. So mostly I'm excited. I'm going to have that week long crafting vacation, which will probably be when I can get the bulk of my coloring done. But there's also quite a few cards, cards that I want to make. So again, if you would think that would be fun to kind of just see snippets, again, I'm not going to do it like vlog style and show the facility or anything. It would just be like checking in and like showing you what I brought with, you know, the first day, this is kind of my goal. And then kind of check in maybe a couple times throughout the day and show what I worked on or what I am working on and what I've accomplished maybe at the end of the day. Let me know if that would be interesting to you. And there, my friends, 
I think that's it. I've talked a long time. My husband is still in with the supervisor. I hope he's not complaining about his co-worker. In case you didn't know, we sit like 10 feet apart from each other in the same office. The two of us alone in the office for 12 hours. Well, not alone alone. Don't get skeevy here. That's just, um, we're the office people and then there's like 20 other people on the shift that are coming in and out all the time and we have to help them and you know, that's how that works. So yeah, I hope he's not up there complaining <laughs> about his coworker. That's okay, because I have my meeting with the supervisor, I think I already said this, at 5.30 p.m. tonight, half hour before our shift, so. Okay, I'm gonna pop out, and I do have a coloring book in my bag. If I pull that out and start coloring, he'll probably walk down, but, yeah, I should have like brought my, well, no, it's like a giant box of my completed pages. 83, I did 83 pages, little FYI. I haven't filmed it yet, but um, now you know, there's a lot, so I couldn't bring those with me in the car. <sighs> okay, that's about it. I have several buddy colors already lined up. Um, I always enjoy doing that, and yeah, I'm hoping for a good month. <laughs> Oh, I think that's an employee. I'm like watching. I'm like, are the employees or I've probably seen like random people walk by. They're either a truck driver or an employee. I think that one's an employee. We must start work at seven. <coughs> okay. I don't want to rasp at you any longer, so I'm going to let you go. But thank you for clicking on this video and stopping in. I'm actually kind of happy that Eddie had his meeting so I could get this filmed because otherwise, I don't know. I probably would have filmed it while he's at the doctor's appointment and I'll be sitting in the car once again waiting, but this worked. Okay, friends, take care of yourselves. I hope that your May is kicking off on a positive note. And if it's not, hang in there. I always try and say, hang in there. I'm hanging in there some days by a thread. What is behind me that is like kind of annoying? What is that? I don't even know. Oh, wait, it's right here. <laughs> I thought it was like in the back. Oh, look, it's hand sanitizer. I'm like, what keeps popping in the screen there? <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, just hang in there. <sighs> Mama said there'd be days like this, and there certainly are. So just hang tough, and we'll get through this. Lean on each other. Lean on. Oh, <laughs> that's my friend Hugo. Um, yeah, if you need an ear, I'm always here. I'm usually late to respond, but I am here, and we'll get through this. We're stronger than we ever thought we could be, and just think of the worst experience you've ever had to go through in your life, and you made it through. It came through. So you are just as good and strong. You're going to get through this one, too. So, and the most important thing, that... I feel I need to tell you after all this rambling and you may not have heard it and it may not be the most important thing you hear today, but I want you to know you matter. You. You right there. You. You are special. You are beautiful. And you bring something to this world that nobody else does. So never doubt that. Believe in yourself and know that at least there's one lady here that thinks you're pretty amazing. Okay, friends. Love you, and I will talk to you again at some point. I can't say soon, because I don't know when it will be. I hope soon, but if not, I will talk to you again.